there were lots of animals running around the surface of the Earth, then you'd see croc relatives and mammal relatives and dinosaurs. Prehistoric creatures are super fascinating. Million years old fossils have been found in all sorts of places and have all paved new paths to our understanding of the evolution of species. But what exactly were animals like? back in the day. To identify this as a new species, and we're pretty excited about it. Well, scientists keep answering this big question through their new findings. Prehistoric reptile skeleton ever found here as well, the most complete oh, skeleton. Wow. From the massive sea dragon to the flying monkey dactyl, here are 20 new prehistoric creatures recently discovered. <laughs> <sighs> Number 20, sea dragon. I think I found a dinosaur. Those were the words of Joe Davis. Britain's largest fossil has just been discovered. This ichthyosaur skeleton, which means lizard fish, is also called sea dragon because of its giant size. The ichthyosaur fossils discovered to date prove that individuals of some of these marine species could reach a length of 25 meters. Sea dragons populated the oceans between approximately 250 and 90 million years BCE. The specimen was discovered in the Rutland Water Nature Reserve, located approximately 110 kilometers west of the city of Birmingham. Its discoverer, Joe Davis, explained that while working in the reserve in February 2021, he saw a strange structure on the ground protruding from the mud, the appearance of which suggested that it was of an organic rather than mineral nature. By clearing the structure, he identified bones. Shortly after this, paleontologists were notified to carry out excavations at the site. It took three weeks to excavate the whole thing. This fossil is around 10 meters long, and its state of conservation is quite incredible as the skeleton is almost complete. It is the largest ichthyosaurus skeleton ever discovered in Britain and the most complete skeleton of a large prehistoric reptile ever discovered in the UK. And this comparison includes dinosaurs. The skull of the specimen, which lived around 180 million years ago, is two meters long and the animal must have weighed nearly one ton. In addition to its exceptional size and state of preservation, this fossil is that of a species named Temnodontosaurus trigonodon, which had never before been found in the United Kingdom. The team that excavated the fossil recalls that ichthyosaur fossils are usually unearthed following the erosion of cliffs on the coasts of Dorset and Yorkshire. Although Rutland County is located 50 kilometers from the coast, 200 million years ago, the sea level was higher than today, and a shallow ocean covered the place where the fossil was discovered. Rare topic, a team of Russian paleontologists have unearthed a dinosaur fossil which could have belonged to the largest flying dinosaurs to have ever existed. This discovery was made in Siberia, where extensive excavations were carried out at a site believed to have been the home of many dinosaurs millions of years ago. The discovered fossil belongs to a pterosaur, a group of winged dinosaurs that flew through the sky 70 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Initial analysis suggests that this colossal creature had a five meter long wingspan, which is as big as a small plane, <laughs> suggesting that it could be the largest creature to have flown in Earth's history. But guess what? This dinosaur also had spikes all over its back. It basically looked like a dragon. This pterosaur fossil was remarkably well-preserved, offering a lot of information about its anatomy, diet, and lifestyle. They were mainly herbivores. According to scientists, the mass extinction that occurred around 66 million years ago, probably caused by an asteroid impact, led to the disappearance of this species. What do you think of this species? Could it be linked to animals known to date? We would love to know your thoughts on it. Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19, monkey dactyl. In 2021, researchers have identified a new species of pterosaur that lived 160 million years ago in the region of Shan in China. Appearing during the Mesozoic era, which is more than 200 million years ago, pterosaurs are identified as the first vertebrates to fly, but they didn't just use their wings to move around. According to paleontologists, these reptiles could also venture onto the ground or even crawl through trees. This flying reptile is known as the monkey dactyl. This name reflects its anatomical particularity. That's right, 
This pterosaur had a small body, an elongated tail, wings spanning 85 centimeters, and more surprisingly, opposable thumbs on its hands. This anatomical feature is present in many mammals such as primates. On the other hand, it is much rarer among current reptiles, except for chameleons. According to the researchers, this is the first discovery of a pterosaur with opposable thumbs. Number 18, Godzilla shark. Paleontologists have found a complete and well-preserved fossilized skeleton of an ancient shark on a private site in the Monsano Mountains near Albuquerque in New Mexico. The remarkable skeleton features 12 rows of piercing teeth set in sturdy jaws, along with a pair of 80 centimeter fin spikes on its back. It was nicknamed the Godzilla shark because of its size. The skeleton is the largest fossil of its kind ever discovered in the region and the reptilian nature of the spines on its back. The shark has now officially been named Hoffman's dragon shark, Draco Pristis Hoffmanorum, in honor of the family that owned the land where the fossil was found. This dragon shark belonged to a group of mysterious ancient sharks known as Catenacanthes that diverged from modern sharks and lived around 390 million years ago during the Devonian period. The superbly preserved skeleton has allowed researchers to learn more about this prehistoric species. Their fixed jaws suggest that Catenacanths were not super big predators like modern sharks are. According to scientists, the large spines on the backs of Hoffman's dragon sharks may have been used as a defense against larger sharks. Hoffman's dragon shark disappeared during the mass extinction event at the end of the Permian period 252 million years ago, which ended the Paleozoic era. However, the exact cause of the shark's disappearance is still unclear. Researchers are now searching for more Ctinicanth fossils in the region to learn more about their lifestyle and habits. Evolutionary characteristics such as longevity, growth rate, age of reproductive maturity, and reproductive output. Number 17, prehistoric ice age horse. These, and the way we'll be able to identify which species of horse is that these little wiggles of enamel in there. Imagine digging a hole in your garden and stumbling upon a skeleton that is millions of years old. What a strange surprise, right? Well, believe it or not, but it happened to a man in Las Vegas. That's right. A Las Vegas resident was digging a swimming pool in his backyard when workers came across bones. Authorities initially thought they had discovered a crime scene right in Las Vegas. But plot twist, the investigators understood that the scene was more related to paleontology. Paleontologist Joshua Bond, often called out for false alarms, was surprised to discover what he considers to be the remains of a prehistoric horse that would have lived during the Ice Age between 6,000 and 14,000 years ago in the past at that time, the area was apparently filled with swamps that housed mammoths, prehistoric camels, saber-toothed tigers, and other mammals that have since become extinct. Bones from its right leg, its shoulder blade, and a few vertebrae have been found so far. These pieces of the horse skeleton were still linked, which indicates that it was buried probably before scavengers could attack it. Now it's time for the state of Nevada to investigate the area, but not for but for more fossils and traces of history. Number 16, unearthing a prehistoric turtle. What if Ninja Turtles were real? Well, they existed millions of years ago, dude. Paleontologists have unearthed fossils of a new species of turtle. They documented their discovery made between 2016 and 2021 near the village of Col de Nargodans in northeastern Spain. One of the most impressive characteristics of this turtle is that it is heavier than a hippopotamus. This species is called Leviathanochilus enigmatica. There are more than 300 species of turtles around the world. According to the National Ocean Service, the leatherback turtle is the largest living sea turtle. It can measure up to 183 centimeters and weigh between 250 and 910 kilograms. But with the Leviathanochilus enigmatica, we change our panels of dimensions. Fossilized bones were found, including fragments of a pelvis but almost complete pieces of carapaces. They enabled paleontologists to estimate the size of the animal. And guess what? Researchers estimate that this turtle, which lived in the Cretaceous period more than 66 million years ago, could measure up to 3.7 meters long and weigh more than 3,000 kilograms. This turtle is close to the size of an Archelon, an extinct sea turtle found on the North American continent. Its size was estimated to be up to 4.6 meters long and it could weigh 3,200 kilograms. But Leviathanochelis enigmatica is the largest specimen of turtle ever found in Europe. 
Number 15. Pugnacious Mammal Back in 2012, two fossilized skeletons were discovered in Liaoning, a province in northeast China. This place is also known as the Chinese Pompeii because it is home to many remains of dinosaurs and other animals preserved in volcanic debris, similar to those of the ancient Roman city. Those two skeletons depicted a badger-sized mammal attacking a dinosaur that is three times its size. Both were frozen in the ash of a volcanic eruption 125 million years ago. This discovery suggests that small mammals could prey on dinosaurs that dominated the fauna of the Cretaceous period. This is the first time that a fossil has been discovered showing the fight between a mammal and a dinosaur. Scientists couldn't believe their eyes. Until now, mammals were considered too small to attack dinosaurs during the few tens of millions of years they lived alongside each other. But the fossil shows a prehistoric mammal called Repenomammus robustus, dominating a Psittacosaurus lugiatunensis, which is a big herbivore with a beak similar to that of a parrot. Number 14. New Pterosaur A nearly complete and very well-preserved fossilized skeleton of a small creature was discovered in a Bavarian limestone quarry. It was later analyzed by a team of paleontologists from Britain, Germany, and Mexico. This creature is, in fact, a pterosaur, a kind of flying dinosaur. The animal was a member of the pterosaur family Cotinocosmatidae and was named Baleonognathus mauseri, which translates into whale mouth. And guess why? Well, the jaws of this pterosaur are quite massive. They are long and lined with small, thin, hooked teeth with tiny spaces between them. The large jaw is curved upwards and flares at the tip. There are no teeth at the end of his mouth, but there are teeth all the way down to the back of his smile. Researchers believed that this dinosaur fed by wading into shallow lagoons, scooping up water with the spoon-shaped end of its mouth, then forcing that water out through the narrow spaces between its intersecting teeth. With these giant teeth, the animal would be able to filter small shrimps or other prey, which it then swallowed. Today's whales, as well as ducks and flamingos, feed in a similar way. The hooks at the end of pterosaur's teeth would have helped it hold onto the shrimp, preventing them from escaping between the teeth. This is the first time that such fangs have been observed on a pterosaur. Number 13. Duck-billed dinosaurs Hadrosaurs are the famous duck-billed dinosaurs. These herbivorous animals evolved during the Cretaceous period, approximately 85 to 65 million years ago. They were characterized by their elongated, flat skull with an enlarged beak and teeth that specialized for grinding vegetation. We also know that hadrosaurs were among the most widespread and diverse dinosaurs of their time. Furthermore, their teeth were undoubtedly the most complex invertebrate evolution. They were capable of crushing, grinding, and shearing, which would have allowed these dinosaurs to exploit a wide range of plant resources. Back in 2013, the paleobiologist Marcelo Lepe of the Chilean Antarctic Institute found an interesting animal while he was looking for plant fossils in the valley of the Rio de las Chinas in Chile. The researcher recently teamed up with academic paleobiologist Alexander Vargas of the University of Chile with the aim of reconstructing the complete skeleton of what would turn out to be a new species of hadrosaur. This new duck-billed dinosaur named Gonkoken Nanoi is believed to have been about four meters long and weighed more than 8,000 kilograms. It was therefore a medium-sized hadrosaur. However, it stands out in the eyes of paleontologists for its primitive aspects which make it an older specimen than the other hadrosaurs that were discovered so far in South America. Number 12. A new species of dinosaur with unusual tail. The famous Stegoros elengasen dinosaur was discovered during excavations in 2018 at Cerro Guido in the Las Chinas Valley of Chile. Extends over 15 kilometers. Various rock formations crop out there, which contain numerous fossils. The team of scientists thought they were dealing with a type of animal already known until the remains appeared. The tail was covered with seven pairs of osteoderms which are bony plate structures located in the dermal layers of the skin that line up on either side of the tail and make it resemble a large fern. These usually serve as weapons, except this time they are absolutely different from anything known for any dinosaur. Paleontologists were very surprised when they discovered the whole skeleton 
and estimate that the animal lived in the region 71 to 74.9 million years ago. It measured about two meters long, weighed 150 kilos, and was herbivorous. According to the scientists, it could represent a previously unknown lineage of an armored dinosaur never seen in the Southern Hemisphere, but already identified in the north of the continent. Number 11, skunk. As you've probably understood by now, Cerro Guido is every paleontological heaven in terms of discoveries. Another new species of mammal was discovered there and is believed to be 72 to 74 million years old. This new species, named Orotherium zen, looks like skunk with a jaw with five consecutive teeth. According to the researchers, this area was inhabited by prehistoric species from America and Antarctica who migrated millions of years ago through portions of land that were under the sea and which emerged after a drop in temperatures. This is what makes this area so special because the evolution of mammals in the era of dinosaurs is still very little known and each discovery of a new species lines a path in history and marks a step forward. Number 10, Tiktaalik, the fish with legs. Tiktaalik rosae is a bony fish of the class Sarcopterygians from the Devonian. This fish, whose name means large, low water fish, in the Inuktitut language, an Inuit dialect, looks like a cross between a fish and an alligator. It lived around 375 million years ago, in addition to the regular characteristics attributed to bony fish, such as scales, radiated pectoral and pelvic fins. The Tiktaalik rose also had legs. That's right, these legs were in fact thick pectoral fins that were stiffened by an articulated bony skeleton which allowed it to move its body about two meters long in the lagoons. These characteristics make Tiktaalik one of the oldest known relatives of tetrapods. Because of this mixture of characters, some scientists called it the fishapod. Tiktaalik's pectoral fins had wrists and fingers, showing that it could move on the ground. A closer look at the joints showed that it probably couldn't walk, but could lift itself. The bones of these fins show large areas of muscle, suggesting that they were both muscular and could flex at the wrist. If these wrists did not develop on dry land, then it was an effective adaptation allowing the animal to stay still on the bottom of the water and resist strong currents. The ventilation holes on the top of the head suggest that the animal had primitive lungs as well as gills. These lungs were useful in shallow water, where the higher temperature would lower the oxygen level. The three fossil skeletons of Tiktaalik rose were discovered on Ellesmere Island, which is in the north of the Canadian Arctic Archipelago. It was found in the territory of Nunavut by Neil Shubin of the University of Chicago and Edward Deschler of the Academy of Natural Sciences of Philadelphia. At the time this species lived, Ellesmere Island was part of the supercontinent Laurentia, which was located on the equator and had a warm climate. Number nine, a whale with four legs. Archaeologists have discovered the bones of a whale with four legs. And guess what? This species lived in Egypt 41 million years ago. It is one of the oldest specimens of its family in Africa. This whale was named Tutsitus ryanensis from the name of the child Pharaoh Tutankhamun and the word Cetus, which means whale in Greek. According to the American University of Cairo, it is the smallest basilosaurid whale discovered to date. During the Eocene era, which was 56 to 33.9 million years ago, whales developed fish-like characteristics, such as a simplified body, powerful tails, and fins. They had limbs that were visible enough to be qualified as legs. These were probably not used for walking, but for reproduction. The fossil was found in a part of Egypt once covered by a sea, where the Valley of the Whales is also located which contains many fossil remains. Already in August 2021, Egyptian archaeologists discovered the fossil of a new species of amphibian whale dating back 43 million years in the Fayum region. Number eight, the manta-like shark. An amazing species of shark from was discovered in Mexico. It is called Aquilolamna milacre, and it lived 93 million years ago in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Its fossil is quite astonishing. It was equipped with wings, like today's manta rays. The animal corresponds to a new family called eagle sharks. They are characterized, like manta rays, by extremely long and thin pectoral fins, reminiscent of bird wings. 
The studied specimen measured 1.65 meters long with a wingspan of 1.90 meters. Like all other sharks, it had a caudal fin with a well-developed upper lobe. This strange combination gave him the appearance of a half-shark, half-manta ray chimera. The fossil is incredibly well-preserved and was discovered in northern Vallecillo, Mexico in 2012, where numerous finds have already been made. This site is particularly known for its fossils of ammonites, bony fish, and other marine reptiles. It constitutes a valuable source of information of the aquatic species of the time. According to the researchers, this shark should not have been very dangerous. Even if it had a large mouth, it was undoubtedly equipped with very small teeth. They were not made for chewing, but for filtering seawater in order to collect plankton. Aquilolamna melacrae did not do great bursts of speed either. It was a relatively slow swimmer, which used both its long pectoral fins and its tail to glide through the water and feed itself. Number seven, new species of flying reptile. These look a little bit like they might be teeth, and it's pretty symmetrical. A particular specimen of pterosaur, a type of flying dinosaur, was found on the Isle of Skye back in 2017. The animal exceeded 2.5 meters in wingspan, an exceptional size which makes the reptile the largest Jurassic pterosaur ever discovered to date. It is named Dirk Skjathanach, which means winged reptile in Gaelic. This species lived around 170 million years ago. The Scottish climate was subtropical and therefore had nothing to do with the one we experience today. It was first the jaw of the reptile that was discovered in Scotland, protruding from a layer of limestone the rock was then sawed quickly to extract the remains of the animal before the tide rose again. Since then, around 70% of the skeleton, which is very thin and very fragile, has been collected. While the size of the animal already appears enormous, scientists revealed that the pterosaur had not yet reached its adult size at the time of its and was still growing. The span of its wings could therefore have exceeded three meters. Study of its skull also determined that the reptile had very large optic lobes, suggesting that it had very good eyesight. Imagine a creature like that. Number six, new dinosaur species discovered in South Africa. A new species of dinosaur was found in South Africa. The species is called Ledumahadi Mafube, which means giant thunder at dawn in Sesotho one of the languages of South Africa. This dinosaur lived around 200 million years ago at the very beginning of the Jurassic. Ledumahari mafube belongs to the group of sauropods. It is an ancestral relative of the sauropods, which took off in the middle Jurassic around 170 million years ago, and which included in their ranks the largest quadrupedal dinosaurs such as Diplocus or Brachiosaurs. This ancestral model was already impressive twice as big as an elephant. Its size was four meters and weighed 12 tons. Once you go into the Jurassic, almost everything becomes a dinosaur. Its fossil was discovered in 2012, but several years of excavations were necessary to extract it from its matrix. One of the questions that intrigued its discoverers was that of its mode of locomotion. Its ancestors were bipedal, but sauropods are all quadrupedal. Scientists therefore studied the creature of its bones and found that they were incredibly robust and capable of walking on all fours. But if modern sauropods wandered like elephants, Ledumahari Mafube had very arched front legs, which were much more bumpy. Number five, new horned dinosaur. A team from the Canadian Museum of Nature has identified a new species of horned dinosaur following the discovery of a fossil in the United States. The 76 million year old is known as Judith as it was found near the Judith River geologic formation. Its scientific name is Spiclepius shiborum. This first word means thorn shield to characterize its frill festooned with triangular thorns. And the second word pays homage to the Dr. Ship who discovered the bones in Montana in 2005. This new specimen is characterized by the horns above its eyes, which point outwards. In comparison, those of the Triceratops that go forward and the collar dotted with spines oriented in different directions. It's these features that allow us to identify this as a new species that we're pretty excited about. The McLeod Street Museum purchased the fossilized dinosaur in 2015. Scientists were able to reconstruct the dinosaur from half of Judith's skull and pieces of limbs, hip, and spine. Research carried out on the fossil made it possible to retrace the life of Judith. However, 
it was not possible to identify whether it was a male or a female. Damaged bones show that the animal suffered for many years. Scientists found signs of arthritis and osteomyelitis, infection of the bone, on its humerus, the upper part of the front limb. Despite illness, Judith lived to adulthood. Number four, Machimosaurus rex. Machimosaurus rex was discovered in the Tunisian desert and is the largest in its category. The fossils that were found seemed to indicate that this Machimosaurus rex belonged to a group of crocodiles inhabiting the sea and coastal areas towards the end of the Jurassic period, from 201.3 to 145 million years BC. But according to scientists, this species is not directly related to crocodiles. This specimen was much larger. It weighed 3,000 kilograms and measured 9 meters long. Its jaw was very powerful and made up of small, thick teeth. The study of the teeth of the giant crocodile gives an idea of the diet of the Machimosaurus rex. Its power allowed it to hunt very different prey, such as large sea turtles or even animals that made the mistake of venturing close to the shore. Other bones belonging to the species had been unearthed in Europe and North America. Researchers thought that the species had disappeared after the extinction of the end of the Jurassic. However, these ancient excavations in Tunisia have proven that Machimosaurus rex had actually lived 25 million years longer in other regions of the world, contrary to what was previously suggested. To date, the largest crocodile fossil ever discovered was a cousin of Machimosaurus rex, Sarcosuchus imperator, a freshwater crocodile that lived 110 million years ago, measured 12 meters, and weighed nearly 8,000 kilograms. Number three, oldest croc-like cousin to the dinosaur. For decades, scientists have thought that dinosaurs had ancestors that looked like miniature versions of themselves. Picture a dinosaur the size of a chicken moving on legs. Well, that's it. You get the idea. However, some recently discovered fossils have actually proved them wrong. They were found in 2015 in southern Tanzania and belonged to a Teleocrator radinus. A study was carried out by around 10 scientists, including from the University of Birmingham and the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. It revealed that before dinosaurs, a crocodile-like carnivore with a two to three meters long neck, a tail, four legs, was roaming around the planet. These creatures were alive during the Triassic period, which was 245 million years ago. Can you believe it? A group of reptiles, the archosaurs, then divided into two branches, a bird branch, which led to dinosaurs, and then birds and a crocodile branch. Teleocrator and his relatives are the oldest known members of the bird branch. This new discovery changed everything. There are a few features that tell us Teleocrator was more closely related to dinosaurs. It shed light on what we know of history and biology today. It also shows that we might have to reevaluate our understanding of our own ancestors. Number two, new species of parrot-like dinosaur discovered. A team of researchers has discovered a brand new species of oviraptor in the Gobi Desert, Mongolia. These were carnivorous dinosaurs that looked like parrots. This discovery allowed researchers to learn more about how these dinosaurs managed to adapt to their environments to survive. Age of this dinosaur nicknamed Oxoco avarsan is estimated at 68 million years. It is part of the family of oviraptors also known as the egg thieves, the first species of which was discovered in 1924. With this new discovery, researchers intend to learn more about the evolution of these creatures. They observed the loss of a claw, as well as the evolution of the front limbs of this species of oviraptors. This means that the creatures adapted to their environment when they migrated to what is now North America and the Gobi Desert. Scientists are now wondering whether birds, particularly parrots, are direct descendants of oviraptors. Number one, ancient whale. Back in 2010, a massive fossilized ocean creature was discovered in Peru. Its name is Perucetus colossus, and it is a marine giant that lived 39 million years ago. The average weight of this extinct cetacean species is estimated at 180,000 kilograms. <laughs> Can you imagine? 13 gigantic vertebrae, including one weighing almost 200 kilograms, were found at the Peruvian site, as well as four ribs and a hip bone. Its skeleton alone weighed between five and seven tons, more than twice the weight of the skeleton of a blue whale. Its skull has not been found, but everything indicates that this creature had a super small head compared to its massive body. 
Researchers studied and analyzed the fossils of this new species for years. They recently understood that it was Basilosauridae, an extinct family of cetaceans. Today's cetaceans are dolphins, whales, and porpoises. Their earliest ancestors lived on land, but migrated to water over time. Basilosaurids were the first cetaceans to adopt an entirely aquatic lifestyle. To adapt to this change, these marine mammals adopted an evolutionary process called gigantism. They basically began to grow to store more energy. A study claimed that they reached the maximum of their body mass 30 million years earlier than estimated. Prehistoric animals are all fascinating. If you could travel back in time to see one of these creatures, which one would it be? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.